But yeah, this is Drifting Lands. This is... It's kind of a... What is it? Kind of a... Um, Post-apocalyptic... It's very slightly cyberpunky. Shoot 'em up with Diablo elements, which that sounds very weird. And um, well, that, I thought that that there was a person talking in the thing. It sounded like it was actually somebody behind me that weirded me out. What do, what do I mean by Diablo? Like, oh, we've got items and we've got rarity. And hello, hello, Parker. We've got cats getting in our way. Yes, we do. Hello. Excuse me. Would you please obscure slightly less than my entire screen? Is that is that a no? I think that's a no. <sighs> okay, so so by being Diablo-like, we have we have money, we have ships, we can upgrade our ships, we have all this stuff that you can upgrade, and there's different like light cell that kind of gives you more ability to use skills. Thrusters, for some reason, add armor. Um. I'm not really sure why exactly, but they do. Um, Fribulator, that's... I forget what that act slot actually is. I think that's my armor... No, these are my armor plate slots. What slot is that? The, there's also unique items, kind of like, well, like Diablo and Borderlands and so on. Um, I have a pretty good set of fairly rare things here. Um, there's actually a lot to keep track of, so I'm not going to fiddle with my uh, equipment too much. I'm just going to kind of get going into, uh, sure, whatever the highest level thing is. Um, the game has an interesting ramp up. It has different grades. There's ten different grades, and the first grade is like, there's no revenge bullets on death. It's very easy. Oh, right. Wrong weapon. Um... Grade 3, Grade 2 is kind of where it starts, and then Grade 3 gets a bit more serious. I haven't, um, I'm only at Grade 3. I've played this for quite a while. It's kind of like Diablo. There's, there's a lot, you can end up getting stuck and grinding a lot, and whether that's a bad thing, I mean, you can just choose not to grind. But I've grind a little bit. I don't know what those are. Oh, I guess that's what you do to those. It also has these skills that you can use. Hey, son. Oh! Okay, game capture mode does not work for the actual main part of the game. Um, that's cool. Let's just... Why don't we just... Yeah. Why don't we just use my capture card? Okay. I hate full screen games. This is... Full screen games are the worst. Um, for assorted reasons. What? Oh. I should really change that button. So there's four different skills you can use. And, um, I must have changed. Ow! <laughs> Crap. So, in lines with it being a Diablo game, you have loot and you actually lose your loot um, if you die and re retreat. Um, and you can actually make it an even more high stakes game by you can disable the auto retreat by replacing it with a different automatic skill. And, um,. Then you lose, like, your whole ship and all of the parts on it, so I... Um, you can play it more like a roguelike, I guess, and uh, I would prefer not to do that. But, uh... Wasn't the... The menu was showing! I... Was... was I, I checked that it was working, but I guess just that once you get into the game, the, that recording method doesn't work. Um... Oh, this game has focus. It has there's four different ways to get focus, which is basically a score multiplier, and score is also money. Score is converted into money, at least. Um, this is the interceptor, which is kind of the advanced like for shoot 'em ups, uh, for shoot 'em up players craft. And you get more focus by grazing bullets, which is you know getting close to them but not letting them hit you. And you lose focus by uh, getting hit by bullets, obviously. Um, the second class of ship is kind of for the intermediate class of players and it it's kind of weird you just have to sit in a very specific point in the screen to get focus in it the kind of the sweet spot moves around constantly and for the very bad at shoot 'em ups players um the vanguard class or whatever it's called uh, has super high defense and shields out 
and um, the way it gets focused is getting its shield damaged and recharged. It's really weird. So you kind of have to get hit with that ship, and as long as your shields are recharging, you're gaining focus. It's weird. So, ow. This thing I have, this, this shield thing that I'm using very poorly, uh, or the ring around me, it kind of hurts things and it heals me very slightly based on how much damage I do. And there's straight up repair skills you can use, which, um... I decided to go with this instead of a pure repair skill so I could kind of conserve a skill slot. There's so many skills you can use, you only get four slots. And it's really hard to determine, or hard to pick what you want, because there's a lot of good skills. But I tend to use more or less what I have now. I don't like this one at the bottom here. It's kind of like a boomerang thing. It seems okay, but I usually use... Um, oh god. Hello. Okay, we're dead. Um, never seen those before. See, this level is full of brand new horrible things, so that's nice. Um, do I have to kill the things around them to hurt them? We're also getting some slight frame drops. I might have to turn down some graphic settings. I've never played this while streaming before. Oh, they're gone. Okay. I think I should change my setup a little bit. I think we lived, so that's nice. Oh, I actually have a super low, um, did you miss the part where this is Diablo? So, what I'm currently using is a super high DPS, but very low fire rate weapon. So it makes it very easy to deal a lot of damage to a big enemy. Um, oh hey, cutscene. I have not been paying attention to the story, to be quite honest. So I have no idea what's particularly going on. I think bad things happened. Um... So this guy's gonna help us. Mr. Chin Man is here. We're in a bad situation. I don't know what's going on, I don't really care. It does have a story, but I mean... I just kinda play it. Um, I could show you a higher fire rate weapon. I should probably change. I don't really like this boomerang thing. I think I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with the dual flame blade instead. That's what I'm used to. Creation. Yeah, it should be okay. You can also use shields. There's a whole bunch of different skills. There's mines, uh, fire ring, which is what I'm using. You can slow down time with the combat reflexes ones, but it's so brief it doesn't really... Eh. Um, but yeah, let's show you a faster weapon. The problem is, comparing weapons is kind of hard. Efficient railgun is kind of a sniper rifle that won't be that different from what I've got now, actually. Frequency gun, triple gatling. The triple gatlings I like. Auto cannon. Um. Gun. Wait, the trident. That's the one I really like. So that kind of has a, a powerful main spray and some like, you know, sprays fire off to the left and right. I'm not going to bother sifting to the loot too much. Um, the mission screen is a little bit confusing because it crams so many icons on at once, but the white ones are ones you haven't beaten yet. Yeah, they give you lots of options to... Oh wait, I was going to lower the graphics a bit. Processing retreat. Um, as you can see, this is a more standard shoot 'em up style weapon. Um, Lots of fire, lower damage. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but you can kind of customize um, what you want to deal with or not deal with. Like, um, if you don't like suicide bullets, there's specific skills that um, prevent you from... Uh, or that prevent them from spawning. Uh, I guess I may as well just dump the resolution down to 720p, because that's what we're streaming at anyway. Oh, for Pete's sake. Why are there so many in between? What, what is all of this garbage? Like, does anybody have any of these displays? Alright. I guess those are laptop resolutions. Why are laptop resolutions so weird? I, I never understood that. They have so many weird, like, aspect ratios and stuff going on. I mean, the text is bigger now. That's weird. Yeah, this is your more standard weapon. We're still getting frame drops. How much is my... 
only using one fourth of my CPU for streaming. Ugh. For some reason, the Windows 10 Creator update completely destroyed my ability to use my usual overclocking tool. And if I overclock with my um, with my mother with my BIOS, it um, it uh, crashes. So I haven't been able to overclock properly lately. So. That's, the creator's update was a long time ago. I don't know what they even did, but I can't properly overclock anymore, it seems like. I'm sure there's some way I can get it to be stable again, but the nice, easy way that I had before just doesn't work. I don't get it. Did the creator's update do something specifically to prevent overclocking or changing, like, BIOS stuff while not in the BIOS or something? I don't, I don't even know what Windows could have done, but they obviously did it. They're really good at doing things, that, like breaking things that I didn't even realize could be broken. They have a very potent skill. Oh, hold on. I mean, I'm trying to read chat off the preview and it is not working. Hold on. Um, stupid thing. No. Ugh, I hate having to use this capture thing. Um, what is, where's my chat? There it is. Ugh. I hate streaming sometimes. Um, yeah, laptop screens are weird. Oh, hold on. The, oh, fucking hell. This stupid Twitch thing, the, the dashboard. Uh, it's so complicated, it sucks. Anyway. Um, yeah, the Windows 10 Creators update. What is the deal with how Windows 10 does updates? Because... Um, when I installed the Windows 10 Creators Update, it basically acted like I had did a, done a fresh install of Windows. I lost all of my, um, I lost, like, all of my hardware, like, my, my sound card settings. It actually uninstalled my sound card driver, and I had to reinstall it, and I had to set up all my stuff. And as a streamer, I have pretty comp, I have some setup. I have some dumb garbage that is set up in how I um, do my stream stuff. It's kind of infuriating, but it's all set up now again. But it's like if I do another update, will will it will I die again? <laughs> or oh yeah, I I have a part. I have a ship part that um, makes my manual retreat eject my cargo sometimes. I didn't actually have any cargo there anyway. But uh, that's kind of how the game punishes you for manual or for automatic retreat. Retreating in general is not supposed to be like super safe. Like it's pretty safe if you have automatic retreat on. But it's supposed to punish you a little bit. There's also a hard, there's an even harder core mode where um, I forget exactly what happens. I think it's not quite 100% roguelike, but you lose a lot, you lose more when you die or something like that. I forget. I, I was not in the mood for super supreme hardcore kill your family stuff. Like the thing, I, I don't like punishing games. I like challenging games, but like if it's like, oh you lost, so I'm gonna make you, you know, replay a bunch of garbage that you didn't die on, but you know, like that the NES hard sort of thing where you have to play level one every time. I hate that. So I tend to not enable anything that's like punishing like that. I should really just go through these mines. So the way these mines work is you can, um... So it, of course, the, so the game jumps in difficulty sometimes, and uh, it just so happens that I must have stopped right before a jump in difficulty. This isn't as bad as the last level, with those things that I have never seen before. But uh, these laser things can be pretty annoying. Especially when you can't hit them with, like, most of your skills. I can do this at least, but... There we go. Ow. The yeah, difficulty... 24 is just like the... That's like the difficulty of this uh, mission. I can't... Ha I can't play an easier version of this mission. You just kind of go through difficulty as the story progresses and so on. X 
XMP profile configuration. What is an XMP profile configuration? But yeah, the Windows 10 creator update just screws up everything. It's kind of rude, you kind of- so like, you're a mercenary, so you get- you only get 10% of the money you bring in, but it's like, why even show you the amount? Oh, we get to fight a boss, good news. You get to watch me die to a new boss. So this game isn't easy, but I would say it's- it's fairly accessible for somebody that's not like, totally into the shoot 'em up sort of stuff. Um, because it has that Diablo element, you can card- you can kind of grind. You can customize things. It has a lot of the RPG elements that, like, you know, most shoot 'em ups obviously don't have because shoot 'em ups aren't RPGs. Though I kind of like when you can kind of customize your ship uh, to some degree. I'm doing really bad. Um, not every level is bullet hell. I just talk about it being accessible and there's bullets all over the screen. Um, <laughs> it's not usually quite like this, though. It does the difficulty does seem to ramp up up quite a bit. Uh, I was actually pretty bored with the very first areas of the game, and it it kind of goes way up in difficulty. Usually, a bullet hell will at least like show you some degree of the difficulty in the first stage. But this game kind of wants to ease you in. Oh yeah, and killing streaks. That's a skill I have actually that. Uh, if I keep killing streaks going, I uh, get more months. So Tem can go to college. All right, I keep forgetting I have my skills. That's bad. I you have to be in a certain mindset to play this because it's so unlike most shoot 'em ups, and I I'm not really in that mindset right now. But uh, it's very interesting. It's 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 a game that's easy to put ow a lot of hours into, which I have. I think. Ow. I think I put like over 10 hours in actually or something like that, which is for me is a lot. A lot of those are probably idle, but ow. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna put in a repair skill. Because I'm not using my skills well. Um oh, fast reboot chip is broken. What is that even? Yeah, so unique and rare stuff has flaws. So it has a lot of benefits, but it also has a few flaws. So this one has a 20% chance to break on auto-retreat. Um, I don't actually know if you can fix it. I've never had something break before. You unlocked a new blueprint. The blueprints are like ways to buy a specific item, but the item seems to always be of low quality. Um, so I never really bother with those. Um, Fix. Repair. There it is. I think if you play in the hardcore mode, you have to pay to repair things a lot more often when you die or something. I forget. Let me... Let me save and show you, I guess, because I don't remember myself. Um, return to save selection, sure. Normal mode, this is the normal experience of the game. It's designed originally a mix of accessible progression with a few touches of punitive penalties you decide to take risks. You'll never lose your game permanently, but you might regularly lose some items or even complete chips on a few occasions. Such as frustration, apparent loss, you'll always be able to repair broken items for a high price and chips are never completely lost. Okay, I think I picked forgiving mode. Yeah, I did. So ships... Wait, so ships are never completely lost. I actually thought they would be in this mode even. I didn't actually read them very closely. I just kind of picked the casual one because I didn't want to deal with too much bullcrap. Um, so... Skills. Wait, so, so, so what is the benefit of... I think a lot of your crap gets broken if you die in this still, though. What are you wadding about? Bad P. Oh, let me let me hawk my next uh, stream. Oh, right, I forgot it. <laughs> um, I got Mega Maker, by the way. I haven't. I played one level. Um, what do we got here? So, what? No. 
Don't give me the image. I'm very good at streaming, as you can see. Um, next Saturday, we'll be playing this amazing game. We're not going to be playing Mega Maker, sorry, but we're going to be playing this. It's even better. Mega Man Sprite Game. Look at, look at that beautiful face. That is the face of a man who knows true terror. I don't think assholes are very good at stopping ghosts. <laughs> Wat, no. See, Tap Tap agrees, Wat, no. I, I do. But, um, yeah, I'll be playing that next Saturday at 6 Central, usual, usual time. Uh, it looks like it'll be a real blast, so... If you haven't, if you don't usually watch the streams live, I would recommend this one. I, I haven't played the game before, but I, I'm very sure it's going to be good. And I should be able to finish it in one go, too. I think it's only, like, two or three hours. I think. Uh... Back to the game. I should just always use the stupid Elgato capture thing. It's not stupid, it's... But, um... Full screen games and stuff, and some windowed games just don't record well, and it's... Frustrating. It's so weird. In 720p mode, all of the, all of the text and stuff is way bigger. It's... It's weirding me out. It's actually really... It's actually nice, because it's really small in 1080p. I think... I think because they're 2D elements, they just actually have a set size, and they don't, like, properly scale up, unfortunately. Um, hey, Mr. Rosen. Um, I do... One thing I do... I like the weapons part of this, the whole Diablo thing. I think there are a couple too many different things to do. Also, like, some of the CPU cores you can get uh, are very clearly not CPU cores, they are <laughs> things that people might recognize. Um, oh, and there's different ships. I, I think I bought the other two sh kinds of ships. Also, it is unfortunate, I did not choose the horrible, um, like, uh, tiger stripes on my ship. That's just what the premium interceptor looks like. There's uh, apparently six levels of each ships. Um, Oh yeah, Sentinel is the um, the big bruiser one. So if you're not good at shoot 'em ups, you can use the set Sentinel, and it's it's slower and safer and blah blah blah. It actually has um, it drops more. Um, it actually drops more items when you use it too. So it's kind of the easy mode, which I should probably consider using if I keep dying to this next level. But I usually use the interceptor. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah. So, uh, you know, I don't really use this very often. Oh, growth. Yeah, I'm just going to use the standard safe healing. So they're shields, but they're very brief. Like, two seconds. Two seconds. Like, these ones just, I don't see... Like, you can spam them pretty readily, but there's still a little gap between your ability to spam. Oh, goddammit, I... I forgot chat again. This is why I hate full screen stuff, because if, if I navigate away, it does that. No one else seems to have overclocking issues. It's probably just specific to my motherboard thing, because I think it's just the Gigabyte app that stopped working. And I should just uninstall and reinstall it, I guess. I'm not really sure about this Parasite Rain thing. It seems a little... Less good than I was hoping. Um, yeah, I do feel a little bit overwhelmed with how many equipment parts there are. I usually just look for the green arrows, like Borderlands. Like, Borderlands has tons of guns to compare, but there's really just the shield and grenade as far as other equipment that you need to check, so it's pretty manageable. But in this, there's like a lot of different parts. And you usually don't need to fiddle too much. I think I might have to dump the graphics down a little bit again. We still get some frame drops in-game. Which is weird. I usually... Ow. I would have expected that if I could play it at 1080p without streaming, that just dumping it down to 1080p, I mean, that's... What is that? That's like 
50% less pixels or something, isn't it? Uh, I would have figured that'd be- ow. That was dumb. That would be enough. Oh, the music in this is pretty good, too. I think if you're gonna make a shoot-em-up, it's really important for you to have good music. I- I can't really remember very many shoot-em-ups that I would say have bad music. And you can't really get- you don't want to get in the zone in it- ow. I think spawned a revenge thing, didn't it? Yeah, it spawned a little sun. Um, it's hard to get in the zone in a game with bad music. Ow. Oh, and there's a shield that recharges too, in addition to your health. So I really like this flame sword thing, because it it can hit before, in front and behind you, and uh, it does pretty good damage, all in one concise hit. So this parasite ring, since it heals you, it deals less damage than the other rings, and at least on the lower difficulties, um, you can kind of like beat everything in a level just using the ring and. Uh, just kind of kiting around everything. It's actually pretty neat, but uh, not as valid of a strategy at the high level. This feels a lot easier. Did I pick the same level, or is this a different level? Oh, the frame. Yeah, I really need to drop some graphics because we're getting we're dropping them frames. I do not drop the frames. They need to be off the floor. Do not drop them, please. Right, and these blue things that keep getting the blue crystals are uh, uh, skill energy. You can spam skills a lot more than I actually am. Like I said, I, I'm not in the habit of spamming the skills. It's so different from usual- oh god. Usual things where you charge up your one bomb and you, you gotta be pretty dang uh, conservative with your bombs. I don't know why that hurts so much. It's new boss time. Ow. Oh wait, we've seen this- well, I've seen this boss before, you haven't, obviously. Uh oh. So bosses basically always kill you in one hit if you physically touch them, so... I tend to stay the heck away. That's obviously a choreographed attack. It's actually kind of annoying that there's big, like, caution signs all over your screen when you take damage. It actually kind of makes it hard to see if that's where you actually are. And... Ow. It's kind of a bit much. It's like, I know I got hit. I, I am a shoot 'em up player. It already hurts in my soul. When I get hit, you do not need to add insult to injury. Alright. I keep forgetting, this is a pretty good skill. It, it's focus fire, it speeds up your attack, and it makes you shoot forward with all of your attacks. Which, for a lot of weapons, that can be very useful, because a lot of stuff kind of spreads out fire and makes it bad for bosses. Alright, we didn't do too bad that time. Alright, uh, settings, gonna tone down them graphics a bit. Um, scaled UI and high res screens. <laughs> huh. Well, it does have that. Alright, we're losing dynamic shadows. Do we need dynamic shadows? Well, we'll see. Anti aliasing would probably. That's probably enough. Oh, wait, hold on. You gotta manually dump your, um,. Cargo hold for some reason. Um, so we got a slightly better. Ooh, what's this? Stats requirement increase. Hull growth cannot be interrupted. Ooh! That's true. The hull growth is a skill where you heal slowly, but if you get hit during the, the heal, it gets interrupted, but it heals more than just an instant heal. So that is actually interesting. Retreat giant increase. I think I will put that on. Uh, what's 
this. Anytime I see lots and lots of red numbers is when I just ignore, which is most of these. I think we're pretty much good. How much money do I have? A lot. I think so. Health armor. Does anything increase shield skill power? No. So you can upgrade the stats of your ship too a little bit. Does it let you turn off the caution sights to follow you when you're damaged? I don't think so. We got a new blueprint crystal cracker. Wait, what is that? Okay. What is that? Is that a weapon? Oh, it's a thruster. Whoa! That's pretty good, I think. Yeah, that's about a hundred better than what I got. How much is it? It's cheap. Ish. I want that. Wait, what? Wait, do I not meet the requirements? I meet the requirements. Heck yeah. Oh, also your equipment can change, um, your equipment changes your, um, so you have three stats that determine whether you can equip things or not. And if you equip a new thing, um, sometimes you can actually fail to meet your requirements for other stuff. And you actually lose the ability until you meet the requirements again. So I just needed to raise my power just a little bit. Um, so what's my worst piece of equipment? Shield. Do I have better shields? Storm. I won't waste too much time in the store. Yeah, we get this game, it didn't have those annoying red lines each time I got hit. Oh, hold on. I forgot to actually check that, so... Display... No, that's like... Damages overlay? That sounds like that ship hit box. yes. <laughs> what is a skill gizmo? I need, I need help text. What is skill gizmo? I'm gonna turn skill gizmo off. All right, there's also, um, because you know, there's like, it's one of those things where there's like floaty islands and crap. Um, it has like rocks that move in front of the screen and crap, and you can disable those, which is really nice. So then, I'm assuming that damage overlay is that thing I was talking about. So let's go get hit to see. Eh? Skill not ready. I did turn that option off, right? So it's totally still doing that. Focus up. Oh wait, I forgot to change to the other Streak. kind of thing. Focus up. Also, we're still getting frame drops. What is the deal? I'll turn down the th other thing, the dynamic shadows, I guess. It's so weird. I can run at 1080p with no frame drops with everything. With all the fixins, um, when I'm not streaming. Ugh. I was told on many sites that if I got a GTX um, 1060 that I would never want for more graphics in a 1080p game. I Every single site said that. It, it was a complete, utter lie. Um, like, fascinating how big of a lie that was, honestly. Like every single site said that. The, the, if if that's if you want 1080p gaming, it's all you need forever. Like I don't know if those people play on low settings and never live stream, but yeah. Like live streaming doesn't really affect like. I've also had, now that I switched teams and I got an NVIDIA card finally, um, I have encountered games that do not work properly on NVIDIA cards. I always heard that, you know, oh, it's them AMD drivers, and then I start playing games that don't play nice on NVIDIA. You just, you just can't win. There's, there's no such thing as winning. They mentioned that. Oh no, the 10 the 1080 was supposed to be the above 1080p card. 
tons of sites totally said that the 1060 was going to be absolutely all you need for 1080p gaming. Which I really doubt the, 10, the 1080 really is, you know, what you is going to be enough for modern games. Um, you know, 144 hertz, 4K, etc. You can make any graphics card suffer. That's just that's just how things are these days. Whether it's because your screen is too big or your game is unoptimized or whatever, you're gonna find crap that doesn't work perfectly. I do think I'll go a bit higher. I'll go above the $200 tier when I get my next GPU because it'd be nice to have. You kind of need extra oomph when you're doing the streaming thing and recording and all that shit. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know what those reviewers were smoking. I knew that the stuff about, like, f it being fine for 4K and stuff was BS, but... I was hopeful that this would be all I need for 1080p. Because, I mean, I had a pretty old C GPU. I had a... Um... 6950 GTX... Or, not GTX, uh, the AMD... It was the last, or the second to last one before they changed their numbers. I can't keep track of anything with the goddamn numbers anymore. Since AMD and GTX both, uh, NVIDIA both changed their, their numbering schemes, it's just like, it's just all garbage to me. Um, yeah, it was a pretty old card and it still worked pretty okay. Um, Soma was my first game where I was like, oh dang, this kind of runs bad on this. I had to dump it down to 720p. It ran pretty okay on 720p. So I figured for sure this much, much, much more modern card would be perfect forever and best thing ever and just never have issues. Well, no, not quite. I hate these ships, they have a billion HP. Die. Thank you. Drop my package now. Oh! This is one of those missions? Oh shit, I should have read that. So there's certain missions where you're supposed to basically be a smuggler and you're supposed to drop an item matching a certain criteria at the end of the mission. I still get all of the drops and stuff, but I didn't get whatever I was supposed to get. Ooh, two new skills. Drop three original unique items through your airlock. I don't, I don't really want to do that right now. All right, there's cutscenes. I mean, it's possible it's a CPU issue, yeah. And I do intend to get a better CPU eventually, but look at this guy. Look look at this human being. This human being. This is this is obviously the bad guy. I don't think uh, I don't care. I just, I just want to look at this beautiful man. Oh, he's gone. This guy who's totally not the bad guy. The least bad guy I've ever seen. Next version of Windows 10 is adding GPUs to the details pane. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, I am using, hold on. Um, yeah, sorry, I have to, let me watch my CPU usage in um, thingy, task thingy. I missed my overclock, dang it. I'm sitting at about 60% CPU. Which is somehow not particularly- oh, it's a bit up since I actually started playing. I was figuring it would go up a lot. But no, I'm only using about 64% of my CPU. So I don't know. I mean, it could be core. Like, it could be limited to a couple cores or something. Ugh. Which, well, that's my worry about getting one of those, like, super GPU or CPUs that, like, has a billion cores. Is like, what about my single core performance? Because if I get worse single core performance, I will get worse performance in some games. Oh, my thing's on a... I have the slideshow thing enabled, so... It just goes through a big folder of currently Supersonico wallpapers. 
Ow. Also, that huge ship in the background, I think that's the arc they keep talking about. I've, I've really not paid attention. <laughs> There's some cute smartassery with the characters, like... I'm sure the story isn't, like, complete awfulness or anything, but... I just wanted to... I just enjoyed this as a nice, like, a grindy game where you just, like... You beat some levels, you get some new crap, and... It kind of gives you that nice sense of progression, which most shoot 'em ups. Um, well, it, it's kind of intrinsic versus extrinsic, right? So most shoot 'em ups, you're just getting that better skill. You're not getting better items and crap. But sometimes when I'm feeling more casual, it's nice to just get some new, you know, gear or levels or whatever the hell. It's kind of funny how people use the term grind. Like some people really like grinding, and I think people who hate grinding, um, or people who just mean different things by the term. Like, people get confused when they say, like, oh, this game is really, you know, enjoyable grind. And then people are like, oh, no, I don't want to grind. And it's like they're talking about two different things. It's so, like, when I say enjoyable grinding, I just mean, like, you kind of do a somewhat mindless task. Like, not completely taxing your brain to its fullest extent. And you still get kind of, you know, you kind of feel, you get that feeling of progress, right? And the bad grinding is more just, oh, you can't do anything in this game until you beat this one goblin 500 times. And I mean, yes, that's bad, but that's usually not what you have to do, even in a quote-unquote grindy game. Unless it's like a mobile game. Mobile games are the bad kind of grind. But like, people think Disgaea is a grindy game. You can grind in Disgaea. You don't have to grind in Disgaea. You don't have to beat Bale. You don't have to, you know, go to the item world. You can play Disgaea as a completely normal SRBG, beat the game at like level 70, uh, not do any ridiculous grinding. You might have to replay a level a couple of times, and you might want to, you know, transmute a few people. But um, the main, the main play is like, like the main story is like, it's basically easy mode, and it doesn't really require any of the extreme stuff. It's kind of, it's a taster to get you excited enough to do all of the extra grinding, the fancy crap. Oh, I like the bad grinding. Yeah, some people like bad grinding. I mean, it has its own, it has its niche too. It has that mindless, you know, doing whatever stuff, but uh, I tend to not be a big fan. Whoa. Also, it, it is really hard to read chat, so I apologize if I miss anything. I do have to go to the item world because it's more fun than doing the other things you just mentioned. I mean, you really don't have to go to the item world though, because you can just beat the main story without it. You have to go once, so they always force you to go one time um, to give you a taste. And the item real world really isn't that horribly grindy unless you're trying to like level up all of your crap to level 100. It's like if. If you have to grind in Disgaea, you're either doing it because you really want to, or because you really don't know what you're doing. Ooh, pretty background. Wait, since when is there land? I thought I thought the whole plot of the game was that there is there is not land anymore. And things are bad because everything is floating and things are screwed up. Oh, I, I was gonna turn off the dynamic shadows, wasn't I? Maybe this is just a particularly big bit of floating land, I guess. Despite its incredibly dubious, um, ow, scientificness, um, despite the physical impossibility, I've always been a big fan of the whole floating island aesthetic. Item world is a better grind than repeating plot missions. Oh, yeah, it depends, really. Um, certain plot missions are set up specifically so you can power grind, but um, or at least that they make it easy to uh, grind. But usually, I would say if you've spent more than an hour um, just pure grinding to level up to progress in a Disgaea game, you have done something 
really wrong if you're just trying to play the main story. Like, either you you transmuted all of your characters to level 1, which is not a good thing to do, or you, like, I don't know, you did something dumb. Still not ready. Was it the cheap version of Tug Fancy's Rainbow Siege? It just takes longer to unlock new characters. Wait, seriously? You just pay to un- That is weird. Wait, not enough space. Oh, no. So you have limited hull, um, or hold capacity. I don't really want to look all- Oh, they do have nice convenient buttons, like, you can remove all common items. Um, pfft, it's a typo that room. Remove all commons items. Yeah, it has that nice button where you can just remove all of the trash items, basically. It's kind of like Borderlands, where after- after a while, you can just completely ignore all the, uh, common items, and eventually you can ignore all the uncommon ones. Oh gosh. You're big. A huge battleship is approaching. Ugh. Someone please remind me to unlock- to remove the stupid dynamic shadow. Oh god, it splits. Hello. What? Whoa. Hey. That's a bit dense, don't you think? I have to kill this thing. Oh gosh. Oh dang. Yeah, I'm up. Oh. Maybe this just doesn't use all of my cores or something, but it's so weird. I'm definitely getting limited by something. I don't think it's- it's probably not my GPU, considering bullet hell is usually CPU intensive, not- I'm in a horrible position. Gosh. Please die! Okay. Much better. Can I get my stuff now? back. Okay. Also, being right next to lasers is a really great- uh-oh. Uh, just dump all the comments, I don't care. The FPS looks absolutely fine. I mean, you are- you're also watching a stream. I, I can definitely feel the dips. It is- oh. I'm really glad that did not have collision physics. Some games would make that have collision. I think it's pretty much always a huge dick move to have defeated enemies have a hitbox. Unless it's like extremely clear or something. Oh gosh. Also a nice thing about the, sh the rings at skills, they kind of last until they get- they- Like when you use the shields, they have X amount of charges. Oh no! Fuck. Um, so you can actually just kind of re replenish it and just kind of keeps up as long as you have enough of those charges. Oh god damn it, I just bought that thing! Oops. Ugh. Uh, that's disabled dynamic shadows, I guess. What is this the damage is overlay? Oh, that's probably just the damage. That's probably just the numbers. Whatever. That's probably what we discussed, the dumb thing I did is use anyone other than Laharl. I mean, Laharl is overpowered, but, like, he's not overpowered in a way that, like, drastically... Like, he's not, like, usual JRPG main character overpowered, where, like, everyone else is, like, less than half as good. Like, like, he's not Ness from, uh, Earthbound. Like, you can make someone else really overpowered as well. But you don't really have a good reason to not use him, and he's really good. But you can make a crew of just generics. In fact, that's pretty often what I do, is I usually go for the generics, because I like... I like them. They're, um... Ironically, for something being called generics, they let you express yourself a lot more, and... Uh, they're a lot more customizable. Not 
Plus they can theoretically learn a lot more skills, um, at least without... Everyone can learn almost every skill through um, that stupid system that I actually really don't like. Um, the mentor system that's like... Everyone can learn everything through that, but... Except like unique skills, but it... Um, it takes a lot. So I think it's just I, I don't think I don't think that the, the frame drops are anything I can really do much about. I think it might be a little bit better, but it's just kind of happening. See this thing's just a jerk that protects everything within the sphere. Or I was supposed to equip my oh crap. I'm missing like 200 armor right now, by the way, because I forgot to repair that thing. So this might go poorly. I wonder what happens if you kill a different part when that thing splits apart. It'll be interesting to see. But I... The, the tiny, the smallest part with the huge barrage of bullets was definitely giving me the most grief. I was just trying to swoop in and get those items. Alright, at least this lets me go repair the stupid thing. Alright, how much does this cost? Wait. Oh, let's see. Uh, repair price. Oh my god, that's half the cost of the item. Yeah, the music's really good. Uh, let me Let's see if I got. Ooh, where did I get that? Uh, Seventy-one power. Oh dang! Uh, crap! I cannot. I cannot get really anywhere near that, can I? Anything that adds power. Oh fuck! That's not what I meant to do. I can do. I don't think I can do that. Sun shield. Reduction, chest fit, and retreat. Shield navigation energy. Nah. Play. Whatever. We're good enough. Oh, and this should actually be a grade up mission. Usually anytime there's a new boss, as you would expect, you go up to the next difficulty grade, which is basically the next world or stage or whatever. Oh right. Actually. Processing retreat. Killing streak. Um I was gonna change to the gradual heal, because I have an item that makes that never fail. Yes, yes, I know. Um, I also think I'm going to switch to something that gives me a better benefit. Can I just... Focus score will be divided by two. That's so harsh. I don't lose focus. I think I'm gonna go with a safe close quarters because that'll wipe some more bullets and then I'll also grab a whole growth. Parasite ring. I think I'm just gonna go with the fire ring. I feel bad for saying this, but I don't really feel much hype for Evo this year. I don't I don't know what it is. I'm not I guess 
Street Fighter V isn't really helping. That and all of the smash. I, I never liked. Where's the music? Oh, there it is. Um, never a big fan of watching Smash. That's like a such a massive portion of Evo now. It's like I only really feel interested in um, Guilty Gear and uh, mostly just Marvel, really. I don't know what it is about Street Fighter V. I just can't really get too hyped for it. It's not like bad, but. I'm excited for that Dragon Ball Z fighting game, though. That that actually looks great. I was wondering, like, well, why is everybody talking about licensed... Like, like I've seen licensed Dragon Ball Z things. They're usually not that great. But then I saw the videos of that, and that actually looks fantastic visually. Um, they did a great... Very faithful. If you haven't seen it, uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters, or whatever it's called. Uh, extremely faithful... Um, Replications of like what the uh, like attacks look like in the manga. It's really impressive stuff And it just kind of has that absurd look where it's it just looks like 2d Which is good I also but speaking of Evo, that's also why I decided um, to not do uh, Mega Man sprite game tonight because I want to give people some advance warning because that seems like it'll be really fun But also It seems kind of dumb to play like something. That I think it will be really hype while Evo is going on and Surely some people will be like Arg. You know, I'm sure some people watching Evo now and said and That's fine Oh god Oh, god damn it. Let me see what happens if I kill the big boy first. Are you dead yet? Please be dead. You have no health. Okay. There we go. Oh! They don't recombine! Okay. Oh my god. This guy is so annoying. Oh gosh. Okay. Whoa! Holy shit! Did you see how much damage that did? I kind of was asking for that, but... Ow. There's no invincibility frames unless you, um... There's a, there's a skill that will give you invincibility frames. But it cuts your focus in half or something? I... I, I should probably just use it, honestly. There we go. Did Twitter really post what gives a shadow ban? Uh, we think so, sort of, maybe-ish, probably not, really, no. Um, they posted a list of things that make a, an account be considered spam, quote-unquote. Which includes aggressively using Twitter, such as faving things and liking things too much. You know, don't use don't use Twitter too much, kids. That, that makes Twitter upset. But, um, that doesn't seem to be the whole story, because it is definitely, like... People, I'm pretty sure, checked it out, and yeah, it was Twitter was shadow banning people for swearing too much or something. I was, I don't think I was shadow banned, even though I swear, so I think there's some other, there's a bit more to it than that, but whatever it is, it sucks, and I hate it. So that's the main thrust of things. Oh gosh, okay, good. What are you doing to the musics? What are you talking about? Is it too loud or something? Why is the soundtrack in pain? Oh! I read backwards. The music's just having a good time. Is it a little loud, by the way? It's going a little bit higher on the thing than it usually does. Turn down one notch. 
Uh, what did we get? Ooh! I'll take that, I guess. It does have life regen. Yeah, that's minus a lot of energy. Eh. I'm good. Soundtrack keep getting muffled. There's something without rhyme or reason. Really? I'm not noticing anything weird on my end. That was not the end of the oh wait story. If you send large numbers of duplicate replies or mentions, because I got shadow bed on the showing off Odyssey D3. <laughs> Look at that pompadour in the in the second row. There was an amazing pomp. No idea what's going on. We're just gonna go do things. The siege. Ooh! High orbit. I think if you, I think if it, you tweet a lot at once, or like, I think it's supposed to be looking for. Um. You know, those accounts that like retweet, like, uh, you know, they say the same thing and like quote tweet you and like try to get into your notifications column, right? Uh, you know, like the free iPhone things. I haven't actually seen a free iPhone spam on Twitter in a bit. But the bots always come and go on waves. Lately, the, the bots are very horny and they just want you, they just, they just want inappropriate things that I can't say on a live stream because Twitch will be very upset. Oh gosh. Focus so we got a legendary helmet there. You can see the, you can tell the rarity from the, ooh. What's better than what I'm wearing right now? That is, I better not die. I guess if I wanted to, I could just manually retweet to make sure I had this. These are apparently invincible. So that's nice. Good for them. Uh oh. There we go. Uh, the nice thing about the the close quarters thing is mines count the stuff that comes out of mines counts as bullets. So you can actually just completely disarm a mine. But um, it's not constant, like you have to wait for the bullet wipe to recharge, so you're not immune to mines, you just... You get a free one every few seconds. Well, lots of prep. Ow. Ow, please. Goopy pleeps. Ow. Some emulators do sa share save files. Usually, like, the save states will not be, because that's, you know, something proprietary. Usually the actual save files for the emulated console will be compatible. Like, the memory cards, like, if you're talking PlayStation 1, usually the memory card will work in another thing, but the save states, obviously, will not. Um, the SRAM files for SNES multiple, uh, emulators will work interchangeably to a degree. Uh, the save states usually will not. Though that's not always the case. I think I did, in fact, have to just replay, um, um, what was that? Uh, Toby Fox's, uh, Earthbound hack, or, yeah. 
the edgy hack. That was so fun. I I really enjoyed that, even if it de it had some definite awkward teen edge to it, which was kind of the point. But that was a very fun stream. So Mr. Rosen, are you in are you in a European time zone? I actually streamed earlier today. I was kind of wondering if more of the the Euro types would pop in. Because it was like night and not like extreme night. Um you know what I mean. Um But uh it was also an unannounced stream. But I was just kind of wondering if people would pop in. I was also I'm kind of testing some theories regarding whatever is screwing up with my bitrate. I kind of think it might just be related to a time or something. Like, I don't know, maybe one of my freaking neighbors decides to upload like 18 billion videos to Pornhub at exactly like 8 o'clock or something, I don't know. But, um, I've been uploading for the better part of today, because I streamed, I uploaded an extremely large video to YouTube that took like three hours. Uh, I've been streaming now for an, an hour. And, um, still no bitrate drops yet. Yet I feel that it will still happen. Give it another hour, and it feels like it definitely will happen. Uh, Medicom is gonna send out a Medicom person to go check it out, but they've done that many, many times before, and it's not actually fixed very much. I think I might try out that invulnerability thing. And the GMT time zone. Yeah, that's what I thought. So six hours ahead, that's... So it's like 1 a.m. where you are? I guess it's not insanely late for a Saturday, is it? Oh, it's Sunday. Daylight savings though, so currently it's an extra hour. We have daylight savings too. Um, I hate daylight savings. It should be, it should not be. That's what it should be. It should be not. Um, so I got that helmet. Give me that helmet. Plus special hits. Lower pickup radius, but it's not. Oh. Uh, I'm finally losing my credit drop, but it's not a huge deal. What? Chance to fail auto retreat? You have a chance to fail automatic. Oh no! I didn't notice that! What, what's the chance? Plus 0.5% chance to fail auto retreat. Ship loss. Though, ship loss is not enabled in this game mode, so I don't know exactly what that means, and I really don't want to find out. 2 a.m. represent. Real bad pee hours. Oh wait, hold on. Did I forget to... Oh, I'm watching my own stream at full bitrate. I should probably not be doing that. That's... That's naughty. Oh, and there goes 10% of my CPU. Right, about 5%. Um, oh yeah, sorry. I keep forgetting that it... Ugh, I hate full screen games. Um... Cuts out the music. It's uh, some games will crash if you switch out of them too much. Um, I tend to switch out a lot, so I've I've certainly found that to happen in a few cases. So, oh man, I really want this freaking this X the shield. This is really good. Oh. Chance to fail auto retreat. What do you mean? Oh no! Why does everything have this? Fuck. Well, 
now have a 1% chance to fail auto retreat. It's, I'm not entirely sold on the flaw system. I'm not sure why, like, the best items always have to have a drawback like that. I guess in Borderlands, there's somewhat of drawbacks to, to certain legendary weapons, but not really as a, like, guaranteed thing. Ugh. You had to have seen that frame drop. I think that was, like, we're spawning in all of the enemies or loading them into whatever. So. I'll probably do a video on YouTube where I like explain like I'll, I'll have a stream schedule for next week I guess I'm not really used to doing that kind of thing and I like to just kind of play whatever um, but I'll try to at least have some idea like I'm definitely streaming Mega Man Sprite comic game on Saturday next Saturday um, so definitely try to watch that one. If you only watch one stream next week, I would prefer it to be that one. I think that's going to be great. And um, I hope a lot of people get to see that. Um, otherwise, I'll probably stream some Valkyrie Drive on PC. I've had that for a while, and I ow. Good. This is fine. I'm okay with the situation that's currently unfolding. Alright. The worst thing is those things don't drop items unless you kill them manually, like with shots. Oh, right, healing. Okay, probably Valkyrie Drive, probably a shoot 'em up day. Because uh, I do have a lot of shoot 'em ups I need to catch up on to do videos for. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I'm behind on, but I'll have a video where I explain all of it. I'll probably have something nice and chill for Wednesday. I think we're gonna have Wednesday chill streams. They might be a bit shorter, but they'll be something like LSD or, I don't know, Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon. Actually, I could do Harvest Moon. That I've been wanting to replay Harvest Moon, so maybe I'll do that. Harvest Moon on SNES. I think I have that on my Wii U. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I bought that on Wii, so yeah, I have that. Back when I was okay with buying virtual console games, which is no longer the case, by the way. I, I can't believe how badly Nintendo manages what could really be their best asset. Or at least one of them. Would you die, please? Thank you. What are you doing? I see you posting something in Discord. I see your lies, Bad P. Oh, you mean that Mega Man Sprite game isn't listed in the thing? Yeah, I figure that's just gonna be a thing. There's gonna be games that Twitch does not have. Because their system kinda sucks. We'll just. We'll just say we're playing Mega Man, because we are. Does Twitch have like a general, like a catch-all or something, by the way? Oh, I think that was a unique. What? What? Okay. I'm sure that's a reference to something. Alright, this thing. We're discussing how to get Twitch to Mega Man, recognize Mega Man Sprite game. Yeah, I'll just call it Mega Man or something. For some reason, I think Twitch has trash as a game title. So when Vinny from Vine Sauce plays random stuff, he just calls it trash. That's so like, there's not much else you can do. I'm not even sure if you can just leave it blank either. But is there like a variety, like just a thing that's like, yeah, I'm playing a thing that Twitch doesn't have? Because that'll come up a lot, honestly. Alright, I keep forgetting to use this. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Oh gosh. There we go. This is not one of those games where you can kill absolutely every enemy on screen, unfortunately. As much as it pains me. Yeah, certain things like these things are not really meant to be killed entirely. Ugh. I hate these things. Anything that prevents me from murder. Oh god, what? What?! That was... That was, that was absolutely unfair. I mean, I, I could have seen that coming. To a degree, but God damn it. I hate when games have collision damage that's like instant death. I'm not really a big fan of colliding in the environment. Oh, that means I lost the prosthetic leg. Um, I don't know if that's like a thing where you col collect a bunch of crap and you get something, or I have no idea what that was. And none of the shields protect you from collision, by the way. I think dashes. I think you can dash and you won't collide. But, uh. Yeah. I've never been a huge fan of, like, doing dashes as, like, a dodging maneuver and shoot them up. I'm okay with dodge rolls and, like, the Dark Soulsy sort of, you know, action game, but for shoot em ups. I don't like the sudden lurching in a direction thing. Oh yeah, lo lots of that more classic style of shoot 'em up likes to have extreme collision. Oh god, the extreme collision maze levels. I really do not appreciate that. A couple of levels of Gradius are kind of like that. In fact, Gradius is the game that makes me hate that. Collision physics, the maze, the game, the movie, the remake, the game. I wonder what's the deepest what's the deepest any like game movie game re double secret backhand adaptation series has gone. There is Street Fighter the movie the game, but I'm not aware of anything beyond that. There is Scott Pilgrim, the movie, the game, so that's like that's manga to to movie to game. So that's three layers deep, but I guess that's the same as Street Fighter, because that's game the movie, the game again. They need to make a movie of Street Fighter, the movie, the game. I think that's... I think once they do that, we can finally stop. Humanity will be complete. Colliding with those or something? There we go. Yeah, no prosthetic leg for me, unfortunately. Whoa. Also, I'm not really sure how the skill damage stuff works, considering, like, it raises as you go, like, you have. One of your weapons, or one of your equipment slots, increases the damage skills do, but it doesn't really scale directly to your weapon damage or anything. So I'm never sure exactly how effective my skills are being. Ow. Not you! Oh, I hate these things. They're infuriating enough because they're so hard to kill, and like most of them are going to leave screen with at least one segment left. But that little trick they pulled last time, that's just maddening. Shit. See, no way you can kill those things. Yeah, lasers are very liked in this game, yes. Not 
Lasers are fairly dodgeable, so that's probably part of why. See, you see how that you see that red thing that marks when they're gonna like barrel through there and hurt you? They should have done that before they went and like tried to crunch me. Oh, ow. Just collided right with that stupid thing. <gasps> no! Oh, I freaking grazed it in instant death. Oh, I hate these things. Uh, and this is like the only story mission I have to play, I think. Oh, and there's a boss at the end of it too. Good. Why is it so long? God damn it. Do I have any stuff? Skill power. Oh yeah, that's it. Skill power. Um, that's what makes you do more damage. This is probably some weapon. Shot. Okay, I'm gonna get a dash. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a dash here, so multi dash. Yes. Sure, okay. Soundtrack for Aqua Teen Hunger Force. The soundtrack is called Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters colon the soundtrack. Like the colon is spelled out like that. Beautiful. So multi-dash lets you basically use your entire set of energy for multiple dashes, which is usually you have to wait for a cooldown in addition to needing energy, but uh, I think it's a bit more expensive as a penalty. That or it has a longer cooldown once the cooldown finally activates, I forget which. There's always trade-offs. Is this... were these? Were these in here before? I think there's a certain random element to levels, maybe. That would make sense given the Diablo-ness, right? I don't tend to replay levels too much, so I wouldn't... Okay, this is definitely different. Well, how about you give me not those stupid asshole ships if you're gonna be different. Oh right, I don't have my focus fire. Oh, there's so many good skills, it always feels like I've lost something whenever I change skills. I can, it's really hard to decide. Which I guess is neat because all the skills are good, well most of them. But it also feels like I'm always leaving something behind. I'm gonna keep using that thinking it's the other thing. Ow, ow, ow. Heal already! Oh, I'm using it. Ugh. Also, there's elemental properties in this game. The, the red bullets are a different element. I think the green ones are magnet or something. I'm um, out. I never really focus too much on it, but you can like equip stuff that has slightly more resistance to whatever. And you kind of see a mix of everything in every level, so I don't really bother too much with it. See, there was like no way I could have killed that thing in time. It feels kind of rude when things just new right past you. 
you. Why? The other crap is all random, but you. You just have to come and just piss on my parade every time. the multi-dash though, so I should be alright, as long as I don't just blunder directly into one like I did last time. Yoink. I die already. Yeah, I was looking at the Resident Evil sale in uh, on Humble, and I kinda... I kinda just wanna play Resident Evil 5 again, like the co-op. PC, the PC one has co-op, right? I think it's just only online, right? Which is a shame because it's a, it is a freaking blast to play local co-op in that game. It's, well, I mean, it's what it's designed for. Um, you're not gonna, okay, okay. Um, the game gets a bad rap, but I think it's mostly because of people that played it single player. And yeah, it's not. <gasps> I almost dashed right into that. Um, and yeah, it, it de definitely does not play half as good single player, but for co-op it is really, really damn good. Even, I would say even with a rando online, it's probably a better game than it is single player. What, what is this? I'm sorry, but this is complete bullshit. What, what, what was that? That was bullshit. That entire attack pattern was complete bullshit. This, this game is never allowed to do that again. That was crap. Oh my gosh. Right, could you go away now? This one's even longer. Uh, Dwarf Fortress, I mean, that's a long title, but it's not like, it's not multiple layers of adaptations upon adaptations. What is this? Ooh! I got a loot box because that was complete bullshit. It, it apologized. Backstabber. Yes, yes, I'll complete the mission. Alright. Oh. Oh boy. Lots of bosses in this grade. There's usually just like, well in the previous two grades there was just one boss at the end or something. Alright, what did I get? Show me the shiny. Alright. So that's a thruster I think. Increase- 50% increased damage on the back blade of dual flame blade. All detonations gain the crystal overload effect. Huh. But it's not that great, and it increases my stat requirements. So... Wait, whoa. Alright, so are my stat requirements lowered now? Still requires 71. I don't know what that means exactly. Some of these say plus 41% stat requirements increased, but see, I'll, I'll equip that, and so now I would expect this item here to have require higher stats, right? But it still says 71 power. A self loss reduction when using Hall Refactory. I don't know what that. Whatever, it has more HP though. This plasma drop. I don't know what that means then. Hmm. Oh, I want that. 50, 64. I think I can actually do that one. Right. Plus 60 armor from an energy cell. Okay. Uh, but I lose 10 navigation. Uh, 
I hate agonizing over items like this. There's my skills stronger, so I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. Efficient double cannon. Eh. Do I have something better for this freaking CPU thing? Alright, let me sort this crap. good in the shops. The shops seem like garbage for the most part. I guess that's probably the point. You're supposed to grind for loot, you're not supposed to just buy crap. I guess good blueprints. But... Like, look how garbage these blueprints are. Though. Wait, parasitic shell? Yeah, I don't need that, that sucks. Alright, let's just keep playing. Oh my god, there's another boss! Destroy enough elements of the convoy? Oh no. Oh, that means it's gonna be another convoy level with those stupid snake things that I hate. I think it might just have one more level in me. Uh, it's been a fun night, but I have streamed a lot today. Oh no, I'm still using... Ah, uh, it's fine. If, if there's more convoys, then... Um, at least I think when it says convoys, it means those things. Because there was a previous level where it said destroy enough of the convoy, and I had to just destroy a bunch of those snake things. Shinobos has some nice chill music. There's, there's definitely a time for the intense stuff too, but uh, kind of can get you in the zone too. Um, I really liked uh, Neko Navy for that. It has a really nice relaxing first couple of levels. Ow. Die. Oop. I thought I had the other thing equipped. Do you know how good Babylon 5 is? I, I watched the entirety of Babylon 5, and then when it was over, I, I just watched the first episode again. I, I was really tempted to watch, just start rewatching the whole thing, and I actually might do that. It's so good. It's I, I like the Star Treks too, but but it's just they just don't compare for me. Oh my god! Do not get close to those things. Wow, we actually got a lot of money for only part of the level. I wonder if you can turn off that voice, because yeah, I do tend to spam. It's like, I just want the thing to happen. And I'll just keep pressing the button until it does, honestly. I should really try that thing that lets you... I think... It says you get invulnerability on hit. I'm not sure if it takes effect before you take the hit or not, but it seems interesting. It would definitely prevent situations from that, like that, whether or not it prevents the first hit. This does tend to be... You kind of do take the multiple hits like I just did there in this game since there is no invincibility frames. And there's a lot of crap on screen. I like how Twitch gives you little low-key messages when your friends started watching, even though they're not like in the chat. I see you there, Lurker. I see your lies. Oops. 
I tend to go for all offensive uh, skills, and it's weird for me to have this dash out. I like my passives to be defensive and everything else offensive. I see you. It's kind of weird. Twitch is really complicated, by the way. Like, there's so many layers of things. What is this? What is the spiral? I'm not sure if the spiral is death or what. It looks scary, but it also looks enticing. Is it just like a gravity effect? Oh, God damn it. No! What did I hit? What did I even hit? Alright, I'm gonna try out that invulnerability thing now. Article lost. I know, shut up. Um. Next time you take damage, you become invulnerable for one second, but it's dangerous. Next time you take a hit, instantly recover all of your energy. No, don't lose focus the next single hit. Okay. Let's see what I should probably try the Sentinel one for a bit. But you'd also have. I also have to like set up all my equips on it. And, eh. Just gonna turn this. I wish you, wish you had three slots for the passives, because. Is if you keep automatic retreat, you only have one thing to use. I don't think I'm going to keep this multi-dash. I'm trying to think of a situation where you'll think you'll die within six seconds, but not in five. <laughs> oh, you mean the different cooldowns? Uh, the problem with manual retweeting, retreating is that it takes a while. Like, you activate it and it takes a few seconds. And uh, you can still die while manually ret retreating. <laughs> manually re retweeting. Don't be a tweet thief. It actually seems kind of interesting. I'm actually, I actually want to try that one. It's still only three seconds, but maybe it's spammable. All right, why is everything a boss? Everything has been a boss this stream. I don't know your Gurren Langan memes, I'm sorry. I just don't watch much things in general. I want to, but it's like, there's like a billion things I want to do with my time. So, picking them is hard. Oh god, that is a long, that is a long cooldown. The shield is also wider than I thought it would be, so. It's interesting, I kind of like it. Whoa! There's also some items that have passive life gain, which I really want to try, but I think I found one, and I think it's like has pretty major drawbacks compared to my normal equip. Oops. So they just kind of bounce back in the direction that you hit the bullet, not like return to sender, which I guess is good in a way, because that means you can hit other things. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet! So. When you're using that shield, it still gives you focus as if you were grazing, even though you're not actually in danger. That's interesting. The face one skill is not ready. By the way, I found out there was a speedrun stream by the weirdest way today. So. Um, I auto-host Speed Gaming, or I forget exactly what the channel is. They do some lower-key um, speedrun marathons, not the GDQs, but some other stuff. So there's... Whoa. 
Um, there's a handheld speedrun marathon going on right now, and I only knew this because I I auto-host them, and I happened to see that as I was setting up my stream. And I actually, Bad P actually found out about it just because he had my stream page up in his browser tab. I've only watched a couple runs because well, I was streaming a lot today. Oh god. I can't tell what this kinetic impact thing is. Holy crap, that is a really long reload time. I can't tell if it's helping. I like this shield though. This shield is a lot better than I thought it was. But it's also three seconds instead of just two. And it, it has like... It has that return to sender effect. Like it hurts, so... It's half offensive. And there's a lot of times there'll be a ton of bullets on screen at once, so... It doesn't have my usual fear with a shield, where... Like, usually I don't like a tiny, brief shield, because, like, I don't know when I'm going to get hit, so what good is it going to do? If I knew I was going to get hit, I would have dodged and not got hit, right? But if I could just, like, blast back a massive wave of bullets that I couldn't easily dodge otherwise, then, yeah, why not? So these ones are meant to be destroyed, so they're less infuriating, I guess. Oh, no. 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 Ah. Oh. Never mind, they're still infuriating. Ah, oh, you fuckers. This is rude. I'm supposed to destroy you, and you're just all being like, please don't destroy me. How dare you? How dare you, sir? See, the middle sections are a lot easier to destroy, as you can see. This doesn't look like it'll be too hard to do, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gravity, please. That almost dragged me right into its freaking collision box. That would've been... Unfortunate. Nice! Alright, no! Ugh. Completely unnecessary skill use. Oh, shut up. Oh god. No! Motherfucker! That is that is such bullshit. That is complete bullshit. Why do they always do that in one of these levels? Oh my god. As much as I like the shield, I have to have the dash for this garbage level. Oh my god. Multi dash, yes. God damn it. Stupid fucking. I have like a 0.5% chance to lose my ship. It's not really. I don't even know what losing your ship means, because I'm, I'm in the mode where you can't actually lose your ship. I assume that just means it's damaged and you have to pay to repair it. Hand not on controller. Hold on. Skill not ready. Skill not ready. See, all of the parts of the level that I'm fine at are random, and the parts that I hate are set in stone and I can't avoid them. Great. Thanks. Right. It's better to be the last level with these convoy assholes for a while. I hate these things. I think I'm gonna finish this level and then I'll out. Call it a day. With all these bullets that I could be reflecting back if I had my shield, but I can't because I have to have this stupid thing. Hooray. I went backwards. Oh. I'm in a bit of a Resident Evil mood. I might find something to stream sometime. Problem is, I don't have my I don't have my hardware PlayStation One or PS2 anymore. At some point I need to work on recollecting my, my old retro consoles, though. Getting, oh god. 
I did the thing where I thought I was using a different skill again. Um, I did get an N64. All right, my the Hey You Pikachu. I think I'll do Hey You Pikachu on a Saturday stream um, in a week or in a couple weeks because I want to do the Mega Man Sprite comic game. I'll try to have like a main event every week, and my other streams I'll be less like picky. It's like I, I kind of like to just play what I want to play, and like I. I don't really plan my gaming, right? So I kind of want to be just like, okay, expect a chill game on this day, expect to shoot him up on this day. I don't want to, like, you know, be too much more specific than that. Five percent is four percent in eight runs, I guess. Oh, why did these explode? Who allowed you to explode? All right, the part I hate is coming up. At least it's the end of the level. Also a shame is that you can only have one skill of each, like, variety. You can't, like, have, um... You can't, like, have four ring skills, so to speak, like... Cause... oh god. That was very dangerous of me. Oh, if you destroy the head, the whole thing goes! That... that is good to know. The head has the most health. So, it's not going to be easy, but... That's good to know. Oh, I think I still need to, like, break into the middle section to be able to, yeah. Make it ready. I see you fuckers. the entirety of your being. Oh god damn it, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay. Okay. I think we did it, yeah. We're good. Oops. Waste of energy. Would this shit please go away now? You don't even matter anymore. Oh, thanks for the drop, though. There. Alright. I better be the last one. Alright. Okay. It's modern day Unsquadron. I haven't played that one. Oh man, Lufia 2. I've never gotten lost in a game as much as I have in Lufia 2. Granted, I played it on my phone, and sometimes I would take week breaks between. Um, I have no idea where I am anymore. I do want to finish that game. I'm not sure if I still have my save state, though. But yeah, um, I really like... That's something that's really cool in um, Tales of Symphonia, and like, well, all of the Tales games. Well, most of the modern ones, anyway. 
Um, they have a kind of what you were doing last thing that keeps you up on the story and where you're supposed to go, which is very useful. Alright, I better have gotten some good crap after all that. Let's sort out of my category. Focus level reduction. Shield cooldown plus my life. Yeah, that one's better, I guess. Efficient minigun. Miniguns are interesting because you kind of have to do. Well, it'll be easier to show you. But I think I want to try a minigun. Ooh! It's got a face on it. One hundred percent chance. Wait, what? What do you mean chance to lose? I think that's this. Oh, I have one hundred percent chance to lose cargo in manual retreat. Plus point three life recovered. Self powered bubble. Wait, what is self powered bubble? Um. Hmm. Repair skills start shield regeneration instantly. Holy shit! Chance to break on auto retreat. Oh, but that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Uh, I don't think I got any good part chip parts. Ooh, there we go. Skill fail. You have a chance to fail one of your executions. Your active skill. The energy cost is consumed. Oh god damn it! These flaws are real. And yes, well, what is that? Fire and lightning shield. Anti-plasma bubble also stops blue projectiles. And I afford my no I can't. Man, that thing is crazy expensive. 71 power. Alright. Let me just show you real quick. Let me see how long the mission. I one thing, one feature that's really cool in this game is, it tells you how long, roughly. Like it tells you if a battle is going to be short, long, or medium. We're going to do a boarding party, apparently. Mr. Chin Man. That man's chin is all the more story I need to know. It tells me everything I need to know. Oh, it's a long mission. All right. I just want to show you how the minigun works. It's interesting, but I'm not sure I like it enough to keep with it. So it's kind of like you can you can spray a lot of the very focused blast if you just repeatedly tap, um, but you can't if you hold it down it kind of gets wild and it's basically garbo. Um, I wonder. Oh right, yeah, I checked this before. So this game does not support the hair trigger function of the Xbox One Elite controller, where you can the the Elite controller has this thing where you can like. Uh, you can make the trigger fire in only half the distance, um, but not all games recognize the th like some games recognize it as an axis instead of a button. And I think this game must do that, which is a shame. I don't know exactly why it fails, but at least when it first came out, the Xbox One controller actually had a lot of weird problems on Windows, even though it's allegedly just you know the same as the 360. It had a lot of weird stuff. And certain Windows 10 updates have broken the controller. It's it's real weird. I don't know why Windows 10 updates are so bad, by the way. I actually really like Windows 10, and I think it's the best OS they've had since Windows 7. And I like it better than Windows 7, but... Oh, that is so nice, that shield! Oh, that immediate shield regen once you start repairing your hull. That is actually really cool. You know, I think I'll go one more level. I'm already one-fifth of the way in, right? Um, and I'm already talking. Um, it's just the updates. Their updates are so bad in, like, every possible way. They don't test their stuff. They're very common. Um, yet the big updates, which they said would, they promised would be more common and, like, smaller, uh, are the exact opposite, and they end up doing things like the creator's update. And it's like one major update per year, and it always breaks everything. Which is the problem with single, like, small amounts of major updates. There's so much more to break. 
and just everything but the updates I pretty much enjoy. But the updates are always awful, and they're forced, like... I've never had an OS where I, like, just absolutely despise updating it more than Windows 10. Even, even consoles. Like, I'm more okay with console updates, as annoying as they are. Like, why can't it be like Android? Like, I love updating my Android. I'm like, oh, hell yeah! Whenever I see the little thing. You know what, I should choose um, something that with a, with a faster cooldown now that I regen my shields. This, this may look really easy to use, but the, having to constantly tap is a bit annoying, especially since there's a trigger. I could probably remap it. I could definitely remap it, now that I think about it. But then you won't have the nice four directions. I guess I could make it the shoulder button, but then you'd hear clicking constantly, and that's also annoying. I don't know. Oh, I could tap- I could map it to a rear button, but then it's... eh, I don't know. I see you excited for the Fall Creators update. Wait. Is there- is there another update? You're lying, right? There's not- there, there can't be another update already, is there? Also, wasn't there already a creator's update? Don't they have- wouldn't it have to be something different this time? Or was that something else? Ow. I just got done fixing everything that broke last update. Oh, god damn it! I'm not used to these, like- those little drone things are usually, like, just trash mobs that you- clear for some easy points. Them exploding, especially with my fire ring, is very impolite and I don't like it. Ow. Ow. I don't like these. I do not like it, Sam I am. It's called- it's called the Fall Creators Update, really? That's- who- who- who names these things? And why are they allowed to name these things? Bug. At least I can kind of kill them even with just the wildfire. It's kind of fun. The wildfire has like very predictable damage to the top and bottom, but not in the middle. Yeah, that, that instant shield recharge is extremely nice. I really like this thing. It sucks that it has a drawback. I guess that's... I guess that's why they have drawbacks. But... I don't know. It doesn't feel necessary to have drawbacks, because, like... Like, if it's a unique piece of equipment, that means you're not using another unique piece of equipment, right? So... Just... By only having one slot for it, that's already a drawback. Whatever you choose. Uh, is this a boss level? I hope it's not. I didn't- I wasn't really hoping- planning on another boss. Whatever. If, if I die here, this is, that's probably it for the night. I- ow! Oh my god! Sheesh. Looks like you're holding the trigger down also increases the damage dealt per hit. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, I should have changed the shield. That bullet shield thing seems really cool. I found some cool new stuff that... There's a lot of stuff that in this game that... Like, like a lot of the skills are really good, like I was saying earlier. And it makes me sad that you can only equip so many. Oh, fuck. I think the wildfire does just as much. Ow, my god. I don't think there's a boss at least, though. So we should have seen it by now. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright. I'll post these in Discord. Fall Creator Update. Oh no! I don't want more! Why is it Creator's Update again? Because the last one was Creator's Update. Oh, whatever. I should probably sell a bunch of this crap. I just didn't want to do too much menuing. Yeah, everyone's favorite. Wave Gatling. What is Wave Gatling? Hold on. One thing about the weapons is that certain weapons, I think, just deal less damage in general. 
And what is this on the real deal? I just want to try this new weapon just a little bit. It's a long list. Yeah, it's... Whoa. That screws with my eyes. Whoa. Oh, and even if you try to focus it, it's kind of... It still spreads out a fair bit. Whoa, that is a lot of bullets. Um... I'm not sure I'm a big fan of this one. I guess it's just a plasma version of the other machine, the machine gun, isn't it? That's enough streaming for today. No frame drops this today. I, I I really don't know what the deal is. I guess it's only been two hours. And it usually happens around two hours. Wow, that is a long list of features for that Fall Creators update. I just hope they don't break anything. That's the one feature I want. Number one feature. Doesn't break things. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, what do I stream tomorrow? I don't know what I want to stream tomorrow. Oh well, I'll find it. I'll find something. But yeah, I'll stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central as usual. Um, I'll tweet it out. I'll tweet out whatever I want, whatever I'm gonna play. You too, Jedi Herder. Don't be shy in the chat, by the way. I mean, I, I respect lurkers too, but feel free to chat if you want. What? Hey, James. Before I leave, why are you James Mass Two now? I don't think. I, oh yeah, the f I was just about to stop you, and that's what. We have to hear the story. We have to hear the tale of the James Mask the Second. You can now resize start diagonally. Wait, what does that mean? What do you mean resize start diagonally? I'm gonna manage my I'm gonna manage my inventory just a, for a brief moment here. Chance to break. I have to hear this tale of James Mast the second. Stat requirement shield cooldown increased. Wait, was this the bad one? Active skill fail chance. Oh, it's only 0.5%, but... Wait, which one of my things is, is die a chance to break an auto-retreat? Do I still have the thing that... Oh, yeah, I do. I think I just have the one. Yeah, the Wave Gatling I don't like. Um, that minigun's pretty good. I think Auto Cannon is kind of just a more straightforward firing thing. Short answer, I went by James Master in RuneScape and suddenly fell for one of those. So if you say your password, you'll be censored. Come on, test it. Oh no! <laughs> so you just kept going with James Master 2 on all of your accounts then? Or did you lose... Or did you use that password on Twitch, too? That was so powerful. I've never used these shotguns, either. Double cannon. Double cannon was what I was using at the very start of the stream. Straightforward, very slow, but very high power weapon. Ah, that sucks. Well, you're James Maths the second now, and you have a story to tell. So hey, that's fun too. Alright, well, like I said, a lot of streaming today it was fun, um, but I'm gonna bail now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, right, I can't leave. <laughs> I hate full screen. <laughs>